Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making some easy, delicious air fryer onion rings. So let's get started. First off, grab a large sweet onion, and we are going to cut this into half inch thick slices. I removed all that annoying papery skin, so it's just delicious onion, nothing else. Nub goes away. Separate the layers into rings, and then we're gonna get to our breading station. By the way, like, I love onion rings. They're delicious, but I do not like deep frying things. Like the actual deep frying is fine, even though I get tons of little splatters that burn me, but the cleanup is just, meh, I don't love it. Air frying these is so easy. I can just pop them in, walk away, and come back. There's no standing over the stove while you get constantly splattered with hot oil. Set this aside, and we're gonna grab three bowls. We want a wet mixture, a flour mixture, and a panko mixture. It's that easy. In the first bowl, we're gonna combine half a cup of flour, a teaspoon of paprika. As usual, use any spices you enjoy. Onion powder, garlic powder, some chili powder, anything that works. One teaspoon of salt, and just give it a mix. In the second bowl, I'm gonna add two large eggs. This is the glue that will hold everything on. Give those a whisk. And we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of buttermilk. This gives us a lot of nice tang. Mix that up so it's nice and combined. And in the last cup, about two cups of panko breadcrumbs. I'm also adding two tablespoons of olive oil right into the breadcrumbs. This will help them become golden and delicious. I'll be working that together with my hands, I can tell. Drizzle in that olive oil while we mix. Just work it together with your hands so it's nice. Nice and combined. So for the dredging station, it's really fun. Into the flour, first of all, then into the buttermilk mixture. And I'm gonna warn you, your hand is gonna get, you know, battered as well. So just be forewarned, it's worth it. Back into the flour mixture. You turn it around. Okay. Shake off the excess each time. Back into the buttermilk. Ooh, that's good. And now into the panko mixture. Press it down and just kind of cover it up. Get the inside, flip it over, and then look at that. It's a perfect onion ring that looks glorious. And pop it onto a baking sheet. Continue this for all the rings you wanna make and then we're gonna air fry them up. I have more than enough for my first batch in the air fryer. And you can just keep making these as you want, or if you're like me and you're always air frying things, just get two air fryers. I swear, I have one like in the basement and I bring it out when I need to. And you can get your chicken done, you can get air fryer, onion rings, and everything else done so much more quickly. These are ready to go for right now. Set your air fryer to 350 and 12 minutes. Now we're gonna spray the basket and transfer your onion rings in. Carefully, don't wipe your breading off. Do an optional spritz on top if you'd like them to be extra crunchy and golden. This goes in for 12 minutes. Let the air fryer do its thing. We're gonna flip them over at six minutes. Halfway through, carefully flip them all over. And if you want, one extra spray of oil so they are extra golden. My onion rings are done and look at these crispy golden wonders. Oh my gosh, these are gonna go straight into my mouth. Dip if desired, and they're ready to enjoy. Mm. So crunchy and perfectly cooked, but not greasy. I love these, oh my gosh. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my air fryer playlist. 